It's time for a little upgrade. Let's go. Well, my very first purchase from Sweetwater was back in 2015. And what was it? 10 Telecasters. No, it was the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, first generation. I had just finished building this music room and I wanted a guitar interface to connect to my PC so I could just record some guitar. And this was well before I started my YouTube channel. So to this day, I still use it and I've had zero issues with the hardware ever. And recently there have been a number of occasions where I've been limited by only having two XLR inputs. So in most cases that's perfect, but I'm always trying to improve audio quality and options and I like to make things more complicated. So today I'm updating my 2i2 to the 18i8. And this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. They've sent me the unit to check out and keep and super thanks to them. Affiliate links are in the description if you want to get one from Sweetwater. It supports my channel and lets them know that you love things. It's that simple. I started with them back in 2015 and never ever imagined I'd be working with them as a partner. So it's really cool and I'm always truly honored every time. So what is the 18i8? Why did I want it? What's the feature that appealed to me the most? All these questions you will never know. The mysteries of life. No, it's the four XLR inputs. It's got a ton of inputs, but that's the main reason for me. I really wanna focus on my setup but let's go over all the stuff, like all the, uh, the specs, the, the interface specs, right? So it's a USB 2.0 audio interface, 18 in, 8 out, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz with four mic and two instrument inputs, eight line inputs, four analog outputs, ADAT input, MIDI, SP, DIF, IO, that's Sony Philips digital interface, dual headphones and bundled software, and it's for Mac and PC. So I think I covered all the stuff. Now, why the upgrade? Everything was working great, 2i2. And uh, they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like I said, this was just a case of, I need more XLR inputs at the same time. So I've outgrown the 2i2 and we'll do an actual scenario and I'll run through everything. So let's say I'm recording a review demo video on YouTube about a certain guitar. Oh, this one. VFX budget blown. That's some Star Wars 1977 lightsaber effects, you know, if you know what I mean. So I've got this guitar and I'm demoing the features and I want to capture some different tones. And I'm also speaking in between the playing portions. So how do I capture everything? Well, this is the path of each XLR input. And I'll show you exactly what I'm doing with each. Input one, sure, SM7B microphone. This is my main vocal microphone for speaking. It requires phantom power. So you just click the little button on the front. It gives you 48 V of phantom power and it's ready to go. Input number two, Audio-Technica AT2021. It's up high in the sky. It's capturing room tones. It's my backup vocal mic in, in case something goes wrong. And I just like to have it uh, as a backup. Input three, we're going into a Sennheiser E906 in front of the Princeton Reverb Tweed that's over behind me. Input four, another Sennheiser E906 in front of the Princeton Reverb Blue. So that's cool. That's what I have set up. I'm also running out of the 18i8 into my monitors. I've got a set of PreSonus Eris E4.5 Active Studio monitors. So that's my speakers that I'm listening to. So all of these connections are running back into my computer through the USB interface out of the 18i8 into uh, a Mac Mini M1, that's my computer, and I'm running GarageBand as my digital audio workstation. My da, 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 da. When I'm just doing some basic tracking, recording, right? No mixing or EQing, like with this project. GarageBand is quick and simple, so I like to use that. So you can see my GarageBand project. It's got four tracks. Each track is labeled, and it's all nice and pretty, simple, clean, fun, easy. And that's the essentials. That's my setup. So everything's going here. I've got all my mics running. They've been running the whole time. Now let's capture some tones for a moment and you can see what it all sounds like. So let's pretend I'm doing a review video and I'm just gonna go turn on the amps. I just turned on the amps. All right, we're all set up here. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. 
I'm me, and this is my guitar, and this is what it sounds like. Wow, aren't you impressed? I know I'm not. How about this then? Thanks for watching my video about this guitar. Have a nice life. End scene. There we go. That's a uh, typical video, YouTube video that I would do. Okay, that's just a parody of one of my video recordings. They're way better. My playing is always way better than that. That was just a joke. Trust me. When I'm trying to accurately represent what a guitar sounds like or what the amp sounds like or maybe a pedal, I always extract the raw wave files. So there's no EQing, no coloring of the sounds, no mixing. The only thing I might touch is the volume levels. If the guitar was recorded too low or too high, I bring it down, right? So, so I pull them out of the folder project, just like this, and then I pop them into Final Cut Pro. And then you get something like this. Pretty neat. Okay, a few highlights of the 18i8 that I want to point out. It's way more advanced than my first gen 2i2, right? Again, I got that in 2015. We're looking at third generation hardware now. It's got this cool software interface for managing features and settings. If you want to enable the air feature on each input, it gives you a, a brighter sound. You can do that through the interface. Or if you want to turn on the pad, which reduces input by 10 decibels, also in the interface. Uh, if you want to label your inputs and outputs and play with more settings and features, it's all in the interface. There's some stuff on the front panel hardware, but a lot of it's in the interface, so it's easy to manage. And one really useful feature, visual feature, is the rings around the, the gain dials. And this was something on the 2i2 and on the other Focusrite uh, devices. But it's a little bit more advanced in this one. You know, your sound is clipping when you get like an orange or red and you're good when it's green. Well, you can actually customize those colors so you don't like those colors for some reason. You can change it to whatever you want. And it's got the two headphone connections. The other one only had one, which is great if you're uh, recording with a partner or if you're a two-headed monster. I don't know why I said that. Because I really should have sung it. If you are a two-headed monster, two-headed monster, I'm really sorry. I'm, I don't. I don't know what that was. I apologize for nothing. Let's keep going. Uh, so I've only really covered a small portion of what this unit can do. It can do a lot more. You can have dual monitor setups. Uh, you can plug in your MIDI devices. It might even, you know, be a toaster and can cook you dinner. Just made that up. It's not real. Don't don't look for that. So moving forward, my main rig is now going to be this focus right. Scarlet 18i8. Again, thanks to Sweetwater for sending this out and supporting my channel. You can support them, like if they scratch my back, you can scratch theirs by using the affiliate links below if you want to get anything from them. That's a weird analogy, but it's true. And I quickly turn this over to you. What is your favorite DAW, Digital Audio Workstation? Do you use a PC? Do you use a Mac? Do you have a Focusrite device? Do you use something else? Leave a comment, let me know about your recording chain. And if you like the video, you know, you can give it a like and that helps. And subscribing would also be really helpful in letting me and Sweetwater know that you really like this kind of video. All right. Oh, and a uh, quick shout out to my Patreon members. You know who you are. Really appreciate it. I just started that. So if you want to find out more information about that, take a look in the description if you want to join that. And uh, there's lots of stuff on there you won't get anywhere else. Okay. As always, play guitar and have fun. I'll see you in the next video. What's going on? <laughs>